know, in a growing number of companies, we're seeing that organizational design and workforce planning are coming together. Um, I know it's something we, we spoke about um, a couple of weeks ago. And actually, in our some of the customers that we work with in Site 222, so it's predominantly the, the people and the leader in big global companies, we're seeing that org design and workforce planning is actually coming under the umbrella of people analytics as well, actually, which is quite interesting. Makes sense, like, I guess, when you think about it. Uh, but I wonder at Orgview, how are you seeing these functions coming together? Yeah, so we're, so we're, we're also seeing the other way, um, David, which is that, that OD and workforce planning are coming together under the OD competency sets, if you like. So so one of the, one of the things and themes here is that workforce planning is still quite undefined as a discipline. So is it simply about taking the budget and the financial plan and casting that into some sort of phased recruitment plan, which allows you to fill it up? Or is it, or is it more complex than that? Are we actually saying, well, I've got this organization shape and this is how I'm gonna feed people into that organization shape and this is how I'm gonna develop people into spaces over time. You know, we have one of the big US banks where all view is used to talent slates, the CEO's preferred, um, you know, if you like, future leaders program. Okay, so that's, you know, we're not a succession planning tool, that's not what we are, but what you can do is you can see your organization, you can see where your talent is, you can move it around in that, in that picture. So the two things are quite intrinsically linked. I mean, think, I think we're intensely relaxed about the idea that people analytics can get value from all view, or that indeed OD people can get value from workforce planning. What's important is to be engaged in the debate with clients about how they think um, that you know that is being developed. So you kind of have, you know, I mean, using Anaplan as an example, you have like you have functionality dropping out of Anaplan, which is talking about workforce planning off the back of a budget. You clearly have, you know, the adaptive route where you've got Workday pushing into the space and coming at it from the point of view of it's, a, it's an HR analytics and then we move into the planning and then you have our view, which is, do you know what? How do you take this OD and make that come to life in a plan? All those approaches are valid. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.